guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'll be showing you how to make this adorable beanie. This is what it looks like on a person. It's just so cute. All you're gonna need is about, well I have like these small ones, so I use about two and a little bit more. So three of these. A five millimeter hook, a needle. You're gonna probably need a smaller hook, which is just small. Uh, it's good to help out if you can't really get through the slip stitch with the thick hook. So you're gonna start off with chaining uh, as much as you need from your eyebrow to your uh, like the crown of your head. So I'm gonna crochet. Okay, so I chained 40, just like that. Now you're gonna half double crochet the whole row, except for the last five. If you do not know some of these um, crochets, then go on to my video where I show you all the stitches. So I have just one half double crochet left, like this. And now what you're going to do, make sure to make it very loose, otherwise it's going to be bad <laughs> and you're going to need this small hook desperately. It also depends on the kind of yarn you have and I have a bad one, so <laughs> it's great. So you go in and you do a slip stitch and you do five of those, really make them loose, otherwise you will regret it. Just like that. That's so you don't have like a very chunky rim, so it's like smaller here, you know? Chain one. Flip your project around but now to get that ribbed effect on the beanie you're gonna always crochet as if you were crocheting into a chain so you're always gonna crochet into just not into the whole stitch but just into that one half oh, this is why i need the small hook because i just can't get in there with my hook so i take the small one go in pull it through, grab it with this, and do the slip stitch. I know it's more complicated, it's better if you just do it with the hook you're using, but my hook and yarn just don't go together with tight areas. So you're gonna do five of those, and now you're gonna double crochet that whole row, but it's gonna be the same, that you don't go through the whole, whole um, stitch but you go through half of it like this double uh, half double crochet you see what i'm doing there you go like through the middle as if you were crocheting into a chain and you're gonna do that till you get to the end of the row so then you have like the line so you have the line here from the chain now to finish off the row, make sure to get that last stitch. It's very hard to see sometimes because it's like in the end, but make sure you have it. And after you finish that, you're gonna chain one and do the same thing all over again. So you're gonna half double crochet, not into that one, that's the chain you just did, so into that one through half of it. Double crochet, half double crochet, and just do that until you're once again by the five uh, slip stitches. Always make sure you still have five uh, slip stitches there. So, and once again, gonna go in with a smaller hook because it's just really tight and really make it loose because sometimes it's even hard to get through it with the tiny hook. And once again, make sure to not uh, miss that last stitch. It's really hard to see, but it's that little part there. So you're just gonna go through there. This one's like the hardest part to get through, but it's worth it because then you don't have like a very bulky end, you just have a little circle there. So now that you've finished those five, you're gonna once again chain one, 
do the five always through just half of the stitch and continue so you can see the lines that are starting to appear and that's the ribs so complete uh, just do this over and over again until it goes all around your head mine is this long <laughs> i do not know how long how many rows i made but it's a lot but i really like it it's so pretty uh, this is going to be the top. We're not going to be using the uh, darning needle, but we're going to be using the hook and uh, slip stitches. So find your worst side. For me, it's this one. So now you're going to connect it. Just put it together like this. So this is how the hat is going to be. By the way, it should wrap around your head without stretching too much. Make it stretch a little bit like this maximum. Just all around your head with the gap uh, on the crown of your head. So now you're gonna... Sorry. So you didn't chain... You don't chain one after you finish the row. And if you haven't finished on this side, then just cut it off here. Make it longer though. And just start a new loop here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to always go into the opposite stitch so like this and you're going to do a slip stitch where you go through both of them at once just like that but here you have to be careful because you're going to just go through half of it again and then go through that So I'm going to show you again, go through the half of the chain, go through the other side, and slip stitch through all of that. So you go through half the chain, go into the other side, and slip stitch all of that. And you're going to do that all the way until you get to the complete top you're even gonna slip stitch this small area so I, ju uh, I just finished it you can see the stitches here and then I tied it off with the little st uh, string that was left over from beginning the whole <laughs> thing and I made sure to leave a longer piece for the circle so you can go through all of it so now you're gonna get your needle you gonna put the yarn through and you're going to start going through the circle uh, you're always going to skip like one so when whenever there's like this little line there you go through that and then skip this vertical one and go into that one again from the other way so it goes like this that this and that all along the rim And then when you get back to this, I'm just going to pull the needle through. Maybe a little hard, but pull it through. <laughs> and then tighten it all so it's nice tight and it's closed up. Just like this. So now you're going to tie it off with the ending part again. If there's none, just sew it in. Like that. And since there is still a slight hole there, you're going to take the needle and you're going to do like a cross into the other side. And so I want it in here and then I'm going to pop it out here. Go like that. And then do the same thing to the other side, just like this. And I close up the hole completely, I'm gonna tie it off one last time. Double knot. And then chop this off. 
turn it inside out and then bend the edges and there you have your beanie isn't that adorable you can always find the side that just looks better and everything so yeah you can always like make it longer I made the row 50 so that's probably like the bestest length you can make this as thick as you want this is what it looks like when it's on a person it's so adorable and yeah I hope that I can see you in any other videos I do make some crocheting I also make art and all kinds of stuff so I hope to see you somewhere there subscribe if you want more and bye